Place the inverted plate close to the Bunsen burner to reduce chances of a contamination. Turn the Bunsen burner to blue. Loosen the cap of the bottle containing the inoculum. Hold an inoculation loop in your right hand and put the inoculation loop through the peak of the blue flame until the wire is white hot. Then allow it to cool while keeping close to the Bunsen burner. Do not wave the loop around as it, to cool quicker as it increases the chance of recontamination. Without putting the loop down, lift the test tube containing the inoculum with your left hand. Remove the cap of the bottle with the little finger on your right hand. Pass the neck of the bottle through the frame two to three times so it becomes sterile. Once the bottle is sterile, put the loop into the suspension without touching the sides of the bottle. Remove the loop and then reflame the neck of the bottle before closing the lid to sterilize. Partially lift the petri dish containing the solid medium. Then with the loop containing the bacteria, rub a small circle immediately onto the agar at your first dot, 12 o'clock, to prevent liquid from running down the agar. Reflame the loop and let it cool for 5 seconds by touching it to an unused part of the agar surface close to the edge of the plate. Use the loop to streak the bacteria across one quarter of the agar from the circle you just did in 3 to 4 lines going from 12 to 3 o'clock. Reflame the loop and repeat the process of streaking from your previous point from six, 3 to 6 o'clock. Reflame the loop and again repeat the streaking process but from your previous point going from 6 to 9 o'clock. Reflame the loop, and then in the last quarter of the agar, you need to streak the bacterium in a zigzag formation from the outside of the agar towards the center. Be careful not to streak the bacterium where you previously streaked, as it will not give the desired separation. Zigzag of the bacterium should not touch the sides of the petri dish. Reflame the loop to sterilize before putting away. Turn Bunsen burner flame back to safety and then leave your agar plates on the side to be collected for incubation.